This one is called The Scone Maker and the Bobby Soxer. <laughs> The scone maker one fine day heard a noise peculiar in his scone smithing store, one he'd never heard before. It's coming from where the mice come in. Could that really be a mouse? The scone maker looked in the mouse hole to see instead a tiny bobby soxer. Make me scones for me, and I will grant you eternal life. The scone maker agreed to make scones for the bobby soxer. He made scone after scone after scone, and the Bobby Soxer gobbled them up one after another. The Bobby Soxer was seemingly insatiable. Every time a new batch of scones was made, it was gone in a flash. The scone maker loved making scones, and so he tried his very best to keep up with the tiny Bobby Soxer, but as time went on, the promise of eternal life was looking more and more unappealing. He couldn't stand that something was draining him of his joy with making scones. So one other fine day, the scone maker used his time off from feeding the Bobby Soxer and devised an escape plan. For you see, the next batch of scones he makes, he decided, will have an explosive taste. That will oust the stranglehold that tiny Bobby Soxer has on my life and my happiness, he said. The next day, he made the Bobby Soxer the best batch of scones he had ever made, and with an extra special ingredients inside. The tiny Bobby Soxer ate them happily unaware, until it was too late. An explosion. This explosion, however, had an effect that wasn't intended. The blast from the explosive gunpowder scone didn't destroy her, but it doubled, no, tripled, no, quintupled her size, and she was the size of a regular human person like any other. The scone maker realized she was incredibly beautiful. He immediately fell in love with the no longer tiny Bobby Soxer. Before he could say anything to her, she thanked him and told him that it was her plan all along, for she had been tricked by a beauty tonic salesman into shrinking. She left the scone maker heartbroken. The end. <laughs>